feel this defense and what you're learning and all those things? Uh, it's pretty good. It's, uh, something similar I ran in college before. Um, different terminologies, but the same meaning the same thing. So once I adjust to that, adjust to the team a lot more, it'd be a lot good. So, so far, it's been really good. I'm excited to get out here. Can you get an idea what the personality of this defense would be? Aggressive. Um, just from what I've seen, obviously, last year, I mean, knowing Flores and how he already gets down, uh, Flo going to call it up. He's going to dial it up. So um, having that aggressive style makes the other teams play on our, our terms, you know. So uh, I love it. You know, I'm all about that. You should be coming off the edge some, huh? Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Passing situations? Can't wait. Can't wait. I know I'll be. What's it like watching a guy like Dallas Turner, young and experienced, but still so much talent? Man, kid look like that running 4-4. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like factory made, you know. So um, doing the fine tune is, you know, makes sure he understands the game better so that way he can make his, his moves more natural um, and learn and progress in this league. Because uh, that's what's all about, I mean, just developing. Everybody's fast and stronger at this point. Um, and honestly, those numbers don't matter anymore. But um, I take that on my wing on, 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 um, as a responsibility of mine to continue to help him develop, um, become the best version of himself. I mean, it's too much potential not to be. So um, I'll be spilling all my gems to him. Um, he's a great kid, willing to listen, um, and that's the best thing about it. So, guys, the situation has a lot of potential. How do you go about implementing your leadership style on a new team? Just be myself. I mean, I really have to, haven't had to do much anything else. I mean, as you see, the abs thing, that's thing I kind of brought from Houston. Um, just what I kind of got into a routine a little bit, and I think everybody's kind of drawn towards that because they see the benefits from it. So, um, just be myself, man. I feel like I don't have to do nothing else. And then these guys are so young, man. They they're eager and they're hungry to make some plays and win. So um, I can get on board with that. So you do that and you give me that, I can do the other stuff for you. I imagine it's a little hotter and humid or more. Yeah. Just in terms of man. weather and workouts. Y'all see this? Y'all see the trees, the leaves, everything blowing. The wind is blowing. I'm loving every second of it. Um, I thought that I, I know that comes with a price later on. Uh, however. I'm enjoying this right now, man. So I love this weather. I love the environment. I love the people here. Um, everything's been great so far. How different is the learning process of uh, Brian Forrest's scheme versus other ones you've had in the past? Um, it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's still ball. I mean, at the end, of, I, I've been in three fours. I've been in four threes um, all the time. So I've, I've kind of just, like I said before, it's just different terminology, meaning the same thing, but just getting on that same page of understanding what he wants and how I want to execute it and how he wants me to bring whatever I brought you know, from Houston and over things so I can incorporate here. So, um, man, I'm excited. I'm excited that he's just let me play and um, be, be a part of the system. How cool is that, that he is that kind of guy that wants you to tell tell me what you want to change right, and what right. we can implement? Right. It's, it's, it's pretty cool because at the same time, we're just talking ball. And I think that's the thing about this game is everybody's evolving and steady. Um, it's an innovative league. I mean, you got to be able to um, conquer and, and uh, beat new strategies that offenses are going to continue to throw at you. You know, this league is an offensive game. So when you got a guy to actually listen to the guys that are in the game, you know, Giving us feedback to where it can be benefit both of us, man, I, I love it. And that makes me play faster and more confident out there so I don't have to worry about anything. And I think that's the message that he's putting out to everybody. I think a lot more of our meetings are more open dialogue to understand what you know. So at that point, we're good. I'm already done. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, how, how much does the position of edge rusher like evolve? One more time. Yeah, yeah, they're going crazy. How much does the position of edge rusher evolve since you came in the league just as far as different places you line up? And yeah, uh, I, I've learned too. They all come in many shapes and sizes. Um, I, I think that that's the main thing. When you kind of see DN or outside backers like this prototypical look. Um, but how I look at it is you turn the tape on, you should see the same results. You know, whether it's sacks, TFLs, um, disruptiveness just on their unrecorded stats. Um, everything can come. You do those things really well, you stop the run, and then you can rush the passer really good. Um, I think that anybody could be fit for that if you're that type of guy. Um, I love that my, uh, I, I can use all those things because um, me not being this prototypical style type of DN or outside backer, um, I can do all of those things. I can give you power, speed, finesse, you name it. Um, I just put all that into the game and it actually works to my benefit. Jonathan, you talk about chemistry, right? You're only mini camp and they're already <laughs> Listen, it. listen, you see, I, uh, it, when we first started doing this app thing, we probably had two people out here. <laughs> now you see we got the DBs out here and the D-line. I mean, everybody's doing it. I think that just brought us so much closer um, just after this and we get through grinding, you know, having these tough days out here. And it's going to continue and carry on during camp when it gets, you know, those, those hot, hot temperatures. So, um, I think that's huge for us, just to be able to know each other like the back of your hand and understand what buttons you can press by just building that camaraderie um, and understanding what you want out of the teammates. And we all want that same goal. And I think we all know what that goal is at the end of the day. So um, we're definitely on that mindset and that mission. As you see behind me, they want me to get back to it, but I'm not doing two sets in a row. Um, so uh, I'll be definitely heading into the locker room after this. Who started that? Um, I brought it here. Um, I, I can't remember exactly when I, we were in Houston. It's just kind of a collective thing that we all kind of just started doing after workouts, just getting extra abs because we do everything else, but, you know, time could be constraining and you got to go to meetings, so why not get a little 10 minutes of abs? Just knock it out because at the end of the day, the core is everything. I've had a lot of 
core injuries in the past and dealt with that. And as we know, you keep having the core strong, everything else is going to be better. So injuries go down. So that's I'm a big firm believer in, in doing core. We and, won't be doing that. And having a six pack. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of ourselves here. Can you guy anymore? You saying is that different? Or yeah, like, like what, what is that like for you? Um, not being I feel rookie. like that makes me better as well because then I get, I get to go back over and coach them and let them know, like, hold on, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And throughout that process, I learn more. Thanks. Yeah. Jordan, I know we talked to you the other day, but not before JJ Jet signed his uh, brand new deal. How does that just kind of filter through your room now? Oh, he, I mean, he's setting the market for us. He's setting the market for us, so hopefully I'm right behind him. What has he brought to the table for you personally over the past few years? I know you said that you guys feed off each other. It's not just a, I'm learning from him. He was actually learning from you, too, last year. What's the best thing that you guys have done together, you think, that way to elevate each other? Um, the best thing we've done together, uh, I'll say just having a good time. Yeah. Just having a good time, having fun out here, and just coming out here to work. You could feel it change, though, when he hit the field, right, the other oh, yeah, day? yeah, yeah, everything changed. Everybody's spirit got lifted a little bit. That's always good when he come in the building. When it comes to young quarterbacks, how I know it's early. I know it's only day two of uh, mini camp. How is it getting to know J.J. and Sam and kind of get on the same page early with them? Yeah, it's really important, but I feel like we've all been doing a great job with just being comfortable around each other, getting to know each other on, off the field, really. That's, that's where it really started at. So, you know, everybody pretty cool in there. we got a great locker room. Great players, great teammates. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, we were just talking to Grenard, and he was doing his ab work over there, and all the guys already jawing at him. He's like, oh, yeah, we already have this chemistry together. You kind of feel it on the offensive side of the ball, too, right? It's It seems like it's already training camp that way, chemistry-wise. Yeah, it's already camp. They got look, We got the DBs coming over here right now. Y'all might as well put them on camera for real. <laughs> Kyle Blackman, he can't really guard me and shit. No, I'm good. <laughs> experience the last couple months, your decision to sign here. Does everything you've experienced affirm your decision to be a Viking? Uh, yes, sir. God, you know, God doesn't make mistakes. Uh, it's not by any chance that I'm here. It's God's plan. And um, this is a great place to be, great teammates, great community. Um, the city is very welcoming, and I, I love it here. On the field, why are you such a good fit? Um, just the weapons that they have. I feel like I come in and uh, mix with them right away. Um, and give us even more vers uh, versatility than they already had. So, um, and then it makes everybody's game easier. It takes a little bit off of everybody. Hey, talk about those weapons. You get Justin Jefferson. Everyone knows it's only the beginning of minicamp. But what does it mean to this offense to have it the deal done, have him physically here, and you know if they're going to focus on him, they're going to open it up for the running game. A hundred percent. You know it means a lot. And then just being able to get to work with him uh, for the first time, pick his brain. Um, have him coach me up on some of those routes as well. You know, he's one of the best in the game at doing it. So um, he can teach me a lot as well. So just picking up things from him. And then, like you said, uh, I know he's going to sometimes see a double team, um, which will open up the run game or open up uh, J.A. on the backside or uh, or uh, Hot or uh, me as well. We can line up anywhere. You can mix and match. So the combinations that you can get on any side is crazy as well. Uh, yeah, I just feel like we have a offense full of playmakers. So it's only been a couple of days, but what have you noticed about Justin's leadership and the way he's kind of taken on that role? Uh, he brings the energy every day. He's bringing the juice. Uh, he's getting the guys going. If he sees somebody doesn't have it, he's picking them up, and uh, you just see it rolling. And then like practice is over, and he goes up to uh, Wes, and he's like, "Oh, we're already finished." He's like, "I wanted some more work." <laughs> so um, you just see what kind of player he is, how hungry he is, um, and he he works. He puts that work in as well, and it, that's that's a credit to him. And it shows on Sunday. Aaron, have any of the defensive guys that had to go up against you uh, kind of said something to you when you first got here? Kind of like, hey, man, I really love this about your game or welcome here or that kind of thing. Uh, me and Ivan Pace got a chance to talk and just, uh, you know, exchange words. And I told him when we played him that he was a heck of a player. Um, and just to keep doing it, he, he'll be doing it for a long time. And then we get on the same team and we're like, we're excited because we know that we're going to make each other better. Like uh, the, all the competition that we're going to be competing in camp and out here, um, it's just going to make us better. And then uh, Harrison Smith as well, you know, I told him uh, it just takes me back to my rookie year playing him and um, just congratulated him on doing it for so long, for uh, so well, you know, that's, that's people's goals to play as long as he's been playing and at a high level. So um, picking his brain as well, uh, he's one of the best in the game to me, uh, whether it comes to covering, blitzing, um, 
disguising his blitz, so I can I can pick up a lot from him as well. And then you have a young kid like Ty Chandler who wants to like really kind of platoon with you and learn from you. What do you like about his game? Uh, I love Ty. I feel like his game is very similar to mine. He can catch out of the backfield, he can run between the tackles outside, um, and he can protect as well. And uh, so I'm just excited to get to work with him and give him all the game that I have, all the knowledge that I have, and see him be successful and uh, you know be his biggest cheerleader and. Um, put, help him, help him along the way. You know, I want to see him succeed. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited that that's my running mate, and we get to, we get to do it together. And uh, I think you'll see it. We're, we make each other better. It is kind of cool that everyone, even defense, offense, you guys are all willing right now even to share, share information. Some teams, I mean, I think the NFL is kind of getting that way, but this one's always kind of been that way. Is that interesting for you or what? Um, it, it is, but I, I love it. Um, it gives you feedback. It gives you insight on what the person on the other side of the ball is thinking. If I line up in this position or if I line up uh, a little further out or if my eyes are looking across the ball, they can, they're can they getting keys and they're telling me, hey, this is what we're thinking when you're doing this. And, so, and vice versa, I'm giving them the same thing. Um, and so it, it helps when you get in an actual game and you're like, all right, this back is lined up here. I know what kind of what to expect. Right. And so uh, that, that crossover helps. And they kind of keep you honest on your tells, right? What you oh, might be giving away. Uh, right? uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's a it's a self scout as well. Like you right. said, uh, keeps you honest, keeps you having to innovate, uh, find new ways to disguise things. If you've, if you've disguised it one way already in practice, then now they know like, hey, he's doing this. That's not coming. He's just faking us. So there are different things like that. Awesome. A few years of my career, Having a returning staff, having uh, same coaches, same scheme is a blessing. And I realized like how much more you can grow in the off season when you're able to build off of something because uh, you're not worried about you're still learning new stuff, but it's more building off of what you knew already and how, how you can fix a little small details to perfect certain things that we weren't we didn't have perfected during season because of the tight schedule. So now we really get the time to really break everything down and watch the tape from last year and build. And even with the new stuff, because the league changes every year, offenses do new stuff and there's always new trends in football so being able to move forward with that it's been fun. How much is this home like you're entering your contract here but mm -hmm. like I'm thinking like you'd be a prime candidate for a contract extension. Yeah I love Minnesota um, just praying for whatever God's will is for me that I he just has that and I'm just my focus is to come out here and play football and have fun and keep getting better no matter my situation. Has there been any dialogue? Um, t um, my agent he's doing all the work behind the scenes I'm my head straight on the field. Cam, some of the new guys are kind of impressed with the knowledge sharing that goes on on this team. Just talking to Aaron Jones, because a lot of the guys on the defense, they're just, they're telling me like, hey, when you give me this look, I'm thinking you're doing this. Right. And it also keeps him, like, he can self-scout, like, right. I'm, what I'm giving away. Um, that's a, kind of a given on this team, too, right? Mm -hmm. What is it about this team that, that knowledge sharing really helps? Um, I feel like... As much competition it is, we, we realize and we have the mindset that in, at the end of the day, this is our team. So if we're not helping each other get better, you compete during the rep, but after the rep, you can talk and see what you saw. And even, even with our defensive staff, they've made sure that we're having constant dialect with the receivers and the tight ends on the back end. Like, okay, we're all watching film together. Like, what are you guys doing to beat us on this rep? And how are, how are you guys winning this rep? What did I do wrong? So we're able to really teach each other and have a two-way dialogue of, okay, how can we each get each other better? He also said sometimes in practice, he goes, all right, if I've already done this look, they know what's coming now the next mm -hmm. time. Keep showing your P's and Q's to change it up even at practice. Yeah, you have to always change it up, especially <laughs> going against the same guys every day. You keep doing the same exact thing. They're going to know exactly because you know you get to know each other so well over time. So it's really a game that we have to play within ourselves. And that's really how it is come football time and during season every week. You have to make an adjustment. If you keep doing the same same little things, they're going to exploit every little weakness in your defense. So especially for us, we have to continue to, to just make make adjustments.